The Air Force is revving up electronic warfare upgrades for its F-15 fighter as a way to better protect against enemy fire and electronic attacks, service officials said. Boeing has secured a $478 million deal to continue work on a new technology called with a system called the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, or EPAWSS. This allows the aircraft to identify a threat and actively prosecute that threat through avoidance, deception or jamming techniques, Mike Gibbons, vice president of the Boeing F-15 program, told Scout Warrior in an interview a few months ago. These updated EW capabilities replace the Tactical Electronic Warfare Suite, which has been used since the 1980s, not long after the F-15 first deployed. The service plans to operate the fleet until the mid-2040s, so an overhaul of the Eagle's electronic systems helps maintain U.S. air supremacy, the contract announcement said. Boeing won the initial contract for the EPAWSS project last year and hired by Systems as the primary subcontractor. Overall, the U.S. Air Force is vigorously upgrading the 1980s-era F-15 fighter by giving new weapons and sensors in the hope of maintaining air-to-air -air superiority over the Chinese J-10 equivalent. The multi-pronged effort not only includes the current addition of electronic warfare technology but also extends to super-fast high-speed computers, infrared search and track enemy targeting systems, increased networking ability and upgraded weapons firing capability, Air Force and Boeing officials said. The Air Force plans to keep the F-15 fleet in service until the mid-2040s. Many of the F-15 systems date back to the 1970s and must be upgraded if the aircraft is to remain operationally effective. Various upgrades will be complete as early as 2021 for the F-15C Active Electronically Scanned Array or ESA radar and as late as 2032 for the various electronic warfare REW upgrades, Air Force spokesman Major Rob Lees told Scout Warrior a few months ago. The Air Force currently operates roughly 400 F-15C D&E variants. A key impetus for the upgrade was well articulated in a congressional report on the U.S. and China in 2014. Among other things, the report cited rapid Chinese technological progress and explained that the U.S. margin of superiority already has massively decreased since the 1980s. As an example, the report said that in the 1980s, the U.S. F-15 was vastly superior to the Chinese equivalent, the J-10. However, Chinese technical advances in recent years have considerably narrowed the gap to the point where the Chinese J-10 is now roughly comparable to the U.S. F-15, the report explained. Air Force and Boeing developers maintain that ongoing upgrades to the F-15 will ensure that this equivalence is not the case and that, instead, they will ensure the superiority of the F-15. Among the upgrades is an ongoing effort to equip the F-15 with the fastest jet computer processor in the world, called the Advanced Display Core Processor, or ADCP2. It is capable of processing 87 billion instructions per second of computing throughput, translating into faster and more reliable mission processing capability for an air crew, Boeing spokesman Randy Jackson told Scout Warrior. High-tech targeting and tracking technology is also being integrated onto the F-15, Gibbons added. This includes the addition of a passive long-range sensor called Infrared Search and Track, or IRST. The technology is also being engineered into the Navy F-18 Super Hornet. The technology can detect the heat signature, often called infrared emissions, of enemy aircraft. The system can simultaneously track multiple targets and provide a highly effective air-to-air -air targeting capability, even when encountering advanced threats equipped with radar jamming technology, Navy officials said. Infrared search and track also provides an alternate air-to-air -air targeting system in a high-threat electronic attack environment, Navy, Air Force and industry developers said. The F-15 is also being engineered for additional speed and range, along with weapons firing ability. The weapons carrying ability is being increased from 8 up to 16 weapons. This includes an ability to fire an AIM-9X or AIM-120 missile. In addition, upgrades to the aircraft include adding an increased ability to integrate or accommodate new emerging weapon systems as they become available. This is being done through both hardware and software-oriented open standards IP protocol and architecture. The aircraft is also getting a fly-by-wire automated flight control system. Fly-by-wire means when the pilot provides the input, straight to a computer then then determines how to have the aircraft perform the way it wants, 
provides electrical signals for the more quickly and more safely move from point to point as opposed to using a mechanical control stick, Gibbons explained. Along with these weapons upgrades and other modifications, the F-15 is also getting upgrades to the pilot's digital helmet and some radar signature reducing, or stealthy characteristics. However, at the same time, the F-15 is not a stealthy aircraft and is expected to be used in combat environments in what is called less contested environments where the Air Force already has a margin of their superiority over advanced enemy air defenses. For this reason, the F-15 will also be increasing networked so as to better support existing fifth-generation platforms such as the F-22 and F-35, Air Force officials said. The intent of these F-15 upgrades is to effectively perform the missions assigned to the F-15 fleet, which are to support the F-22 in providing air superiority and the F-35 in providing precision attack capabilities, Lee said. While these upgrades will not make these aircraft equivalent to fifth-generation fighters, they will allow the F-15 to support fifth-generation fighters in performing their missions, and will also allow F-15s to assume missions in more permissive environments where capabilities of fifth-generation fighters are not required, Lee added. Gibbons added that the upgrades to the F-15 will ensure that the fighter aircraft remains superior to its Chinese equivalent.